Okay, this is divisibility tests. Now, divisibility tests are something I taught to my year eight class. This is something that could easily be taught earlier down in the school. It's not part of the lower down in the curriculum. Some of the bits are, but then there are some new ones in here as well. Interestingly, they don't even include the divisibility test for seven. There is a, a new divisibility test for seven, but it's not included in here. You can always just Google that. I think it was it was discovered actually by a couple of students quite recently, um, but it's not as straightforward as these ones that we've got here. Now, they do do some exam questions on these kinds of things. The next video will be on proving them. But in this one, we're literally just going to use these divisibility tests because there are some shortcuts to be able to tell us whether one number divides another number as well. So I'm just going to quickly race through these ones that we've got. We already know this for two. If the last digit is even, then we know it's divisible by two. You probably know this one. If the sum of the digits is divisible by three, then the integer is divisible by three. For four, it's the last two digits are divisible by four. For five, it ends in a five or a zero. For six, it has to be divisible by two and three, because if you think about the prime factor decomposition of six, it is two times three. Now, for nine, if the sum of the digits is divisible by nine, it's divisible by nine, you'll notice that they missed out eight. Now, eight is if the last two digits are divisible by eight, but we don't need to know that one. The sometimes people think that it's divisible by eight if it's divisible by two and four, because six is when it's divisible by two and three. But actually, that's not true, because if something is divisible by two and four, for example, we could say, I don't know, 20 is divisible by two and four, but 20 is not divisible by eight. And the reason that's true is because if something is divisible by four, it's obviously divisible by two as well. So it might not necessarily be divisible by eight. So we'll just be a bit careful about those. You always use like the prime factor decomposition for those. A bit like in this previous video when we were saying something is divisible by 15, it was with a five and a three. Okay, uh, 10 is if it ends in a zero. And then this is the most interesting one that we've got here. It is divisible by 11 if the alternating sum of its digits is divisible by 11. And I'll tell you what, we will kind of just demonstrate that with this one rather than me trying to explain it here. But alternating sum basically means instead of adding them all up, you add, subtract, add, subtract, add, subtract. And if that result is divisible by 11, then it's divisible by 11. So we're going to begin by doing this first one. It's saying is 6246 divisible by nine? And it's asking us to use the divisibility rules or the divisibility tests to do this. Obviously, we could put this on our calculator. 6246 divided by nine is divisible by nine. So but we're not going to do it that way. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to say that the sum of the digits is divisible by nine. So we shall do six plus two plus four plus six. Well, what's that equal to? That's 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 4 plus 6. So that's 18 is equal to 18. And we can say 18 is equal to 2 times 9. So if we want to use the posh language, we could say that 9 divides 18. Hence, we could say that 9 divides 6, 2, 4, 6. Okay, part B, we're going to do one that says if something is divisible by 6. So we're going to say some stuff using these divisibility tests. So the last digit is 8. So the last digit, 8, is even. So we can say that 2 divides 5,738. Because we're doing a divisibility test for 6, so we'll do, make sure it's divisible by 2 and 3. And then we're going to do the sum of the digits here. So we will do the 5 plus the 7 plus the 3 plus the 8. Yes, I'm doing this on my calculator. 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 8. That is equal to 23. And 3 does not divide uh, 23. Hence, we are not saying that it's divisible by 2 and 3. So it is not divisible by 6. Hence, 6 does not divide 5, 7, 8. Three, eight. So this one was, this one wasn't. Now we're going to decide if this number is divisible by four. So the last two digits, last two digits are, uh, what is it? Uh, one and the four. Last two digits are 14. Now it's not a one and a four, it's actually a 14 here. And we're going to say that four does not divide 14. So four is not a factor of 14. Hence, we're going to say that 4 does not divide 1, 2, 4, 5, 2, 
one four and you can double check that in your calculator i'm actually going to double check this one as well five seven three eight divided by six nope it doesn't it has a remainder of one and one two four five two one four do you think it's gonna have a remainder of two or a remainder of one or three of course it's going to have a remainder of two because it is still an even number so if it's four is not a divisor of this if four is not a factor but it's even obviously that has to be a remainder of two now here's our last one which is to show that something is divisible by 11 we're going to be doing the alternating sum so the alternating sum for this is literally just doing positive 4 negative 1 positive 5 negative 6 positive 8 negative 0 positive 1 now we add these together you get 4 minus 1 plus 5 minus 6 plus 8 minus 0 plus 1 which is equal to 11 and that is divisible by 11 Hence, we can say here that 11 divides 4, 1, 5, 6, 8, 0, 1. So this last one is true. Now, I'm just going to show you this alternating sum. You can do this in loads of different ways. You don't have to start with it as positive. You could have started with negative. So we do negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Think to yourself what that's going to sum to. It's going to sum to negative 11 and obviously we know that 11 is a factor of negative 11 we know that 11 divides a negative 11 hence we could say 11 divides 4156801 so it doesn't have to start with plus it could start with minus you also don't have to start with the four you could start with the one the key thing is that you do them in order and it goes plus minus plus minus or minus plus minus plus minus plus and don't be alarmed if you get something that sums to something that is negative so let's say that they sum to say negative 22 negative 22 can be divided by 11 so it still shows that the overall number can be divided by 11 so let's just double check it 4156801 divided by 11 it is 377,891 so we've got these two working these two not working and these are the ways that we show it here so in the next video we're actually going to prove why some of these things work and in particular I'm going to want to prove this last one because I think that's the one that kind of feels like I've just told you that it's true we want to make sure that it makes sense with a proof